Do it all the year. Da no. Team bro. Da no. 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 The man, the myth, the legend, the guru of fishing, the one and only. What a man! What a guru! We 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 come get him. He's gonna pop. We have to get him. Top man, top man. Exactly the same. Reynolds, you can only mean one thing. We're off on another winter corp adventure. Let's have it. What are you saying, Jay? Let's have it. Right, we're doing a review today. Team Brook fishing review. Brand spanking new, as you can see. We both try to solve to the Titan XL. So Jason's got one, I've also got one. Looks like getting out of bag now when it comes in. Very quick to put these, but obviously your first time you want to take your time, make sure you've got everything right. So they're always a bit tight at first. Once you've had them up a bit, piece, piece of piss. Basically, click them legs together. They've got their own groove in them. So they lock straight into that. Can only go in one way, which is under. Good feature on them. Of course, we're full proof, but obviously, they've never come across Jason before. <laughs> All right, that's some locked in. Put that against your chest as it was the easiest way. I'm going to give you a bit of advice. That's it. Pull all your ends up so. I need to get these up first. So oh yeah, I think still, still got a wrapper on it, on it. 
Yes. How many was it you know, Paul? You got high? Don't eat it. Come on, B, why don't you come round? Pull them first. Then what you want to do, pull them one before you do over. That's it. That's it. That's all you do. Now you pull the other two. Straight round and clip them in. Lift him up. He's not catching him out. Bit tight these when they're brand new. Get a lot easier after. This is literally from opening the other box. So how tight it is. Two six. There you have it, it's up. With it being brand new, it's got covers on these, so I had to take these off. Put it on, they won't fall crawling around. Bit stiff when you first get them, obviously, because they're brand new. They get easier after that, it's just pegging it down. But they are fast, the more you use them, quicker they get up. There you go. Nice tight nine, six holes. Both got exactly the same. Put them both up. Mine's up here. Jason's is up, he's up his front one. Nice bit of kit. Recommend them, we've got a deal on these two. Put your back windows on them, vents will come up. Roll up, got mozzy mesh on it. I've got my mozzy mesh front. He's gone for full front and full. Take you around them. Very quick to put up. Pegs in, your back windows. These are the higher ones as you can see. Which helps when you're six foot. Get you up a bit better. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. And Trent View. Trent View, this is our winter court venue, what we've picked this year. Team Brook Fishing to come and get on as many times as we can, try and catch some winter court. It's absolutely freezing, freezing. I'm gonna get a jumper on a bit. It's only because I've got a sweat on, because we've just been putting all bivvies up and getting everything out and that. And I've got a dab on, I'm, I will made up with cold got rid of it, but I ain't got rid of it properly, I've come and just out of breath doing what I'm doing. I'm just still, still carrying that cold a bit. Anyway, we've got plenty of stuff to get wrapped up in. So we're here today, and we're gonna see how we see how we can get on with it. Got uh, a quick 24 hour we're gonna do, see if we can pull some off and uh, see how we go, how we can approach it. We fetch some worms, we fetch some red maggots. We've got some uh, boilies, which are, what are they? Bug. The bug, they're a decent boiler, they've been soaked up, lugged up. We've got PVA bags ready, all ready to throw straight out. We've got a bait boat, uh, it's not too chappy on water a minute. It's forecast every rain all day. It's going to start about two o'clock, apparently, where we are. It's going to rain all day, but then tomorrow's supposed to be all right. So we've we've got us uh, bivvies up as quick as we could, get base camp set up, get ready. There's no rods in yet. Not even got any rods out yet, just giving you a quick update where we're at and what we're doing, so uh, we'll get back to you in a bit, get them rods out. Update. Right, where do we start? We've come, took us time, thought got to get rigs perfect, so I've been on bench doing, I've got three different rigs for three different rods, Jason's been doing this. Uh, both got the same bay boat each, them uh, what they called? Boatman. The boatman, the, 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 new, the new one. I had the old one for a couple of years, loved it. Rolling really cheap, brilliant. His missus has got that, still running strong. And then we got these, the next one up. Anyway, they've always been great. So instead of fetching a bay boat each, because we, we like, uh, it's not a double peg, but we're near each other. I says, we'll just fetch one, keep everything as light as we can for car and getting it all in. So I could fetch mine. Jason's fetching his all charged up there. Yeah, it's all charged. Anyway, so he's come, put his three rods out where he's, he's happy to put them. And then my rigs are ready, put mine out. And then the uh, last one of mine went boats coming in. We've, we've got them out. It, it, boats died in 
Midlay Lake. So panic's kicked in and we're like, fuck, do you know what I mean? Thought we were going swimming. It's, it's not good, <laughs> it's in winter time. But luckily, wind blowing in his face and uh, it drifted back in. And when I told you, it drifted to his feet on my peg. It was in his peg, but it came to my peg, which is next peg on, to his feet. It couldn't, couldn't, have, couldn't have come in any better, could no. it? So we fell unbelievably lucky, just got in, got it. But uh, anyway, that's not charged. It doesn't be able enough, but then you get your receiver and you didn't realise receiver didn't have enough charge on. No. They both got a bit the same charge. So we've had a little bit of a uh, fuck up. <laughs> Sorry for language. But uh, they're all out, all six rods are out. Uh, I've gone for a trod rig on one. We are uh, a Nash. Uh, citrus yellow pop up what a spray <coughs> uh, so that'll fish any condition wherever it lands weed it's not as much weed now in winter but it's fishing regardless of that so, so it's a rig what I'm confident we to fish it anywhere do you know what I mean it's one more I like to throw out to, to fish it all if I fetch more than extra rods I'm glad when I'm set up if I'm up early and see a fish I'll chuck it straight on it because it uh, that's the rod to do that week no matter what conditions like, what bond like, it'll always fall right because that bomb goes and that'll just find its way down and slowly come down. So it's no matter if it's resting on top of weed or whatever, we pop up, it'll find its way. But anyway, we've gone out, we've gone out with bags. My bags are a bit different than Jason's, we're all the different things. My, I buy these, which is uh, what make these PBA Fox, the Fox ones, the biggest ones, as you can see. And I have that completely around, it's like a giant, fat, massive sausage. I have it absolutely rammed, do you know what I mean? And I, I stuffed that, put it in, because we're going out with bait, but put it in, that's it done. And I have everything in that, from bits of maggots, a few chopped up worms, pellets, ground bait, we've done the same both as we've got, we've done a cocktail, we've got a bit of everything in it, so we've done everything you can, possibly can. You couldn't, you couldn't have put a better, I don't think, base bait down, because we've got house pellet, which always works well. Then we've had some maggots, put in which always a good winter bait we had some worms what we cut up and chopped up some big and some small and so all all, all juices them are coming out then we've had we've had crumb and crushed up uh boil is fine all that's been put in we've even put some goo and some sauces into it with pv friendly so then big and big bike like that that fat they've been full all sorts then i put a little bit on top so there are they're going to be left now i'm confident where they are and hopefully out passing them, I'm, I'm confident they'll get their head down and hopefully have a bite too. And hopefully, one we've got a bit best, we'll, we'll be best in our animal. So, after see that, after see how that goes, and where we are now. What you what? Yeah, yeah. This morning, just, just literally put my rod out now. See how we go. Ah, so uh, that's the update. Right, we'll have a little walk round where we're at today at base camp. We're in Jason's in peg 23. He's got a nice bench outside here, what we can sit on. It's forecast every rain today. It's supposed to be coming a bit later on and wind, so we've got as big as set up and everything. So I'll always show you everything we're doing. A lot of people won't show you what peg they're on or we you know, even told it like if it helps anybody if we catch and what we use or whatever. So he's in peg 23. I'm in peg 22. This is Jason's patch here. This is his setup. Plenty of room on him. He's down here with his, with his rods, reels, alarms. Talk us through them, Jason. No, we've done it before, just for anybody you know, watching. Alarm. The fox alarms, the reels are. PRC swingers. PRC swingers. Reels are. Shimano oh, Ultegras. Ultegras. Your rods are nice. What rods are? Free Spirit CTXs. They're, they're lovely. I'll turn round. Look at that. That's his bench. That's the gate where you come in. Have a little seat in here. And these are his Nash Titanide XL. First time today we're both using them. So uh, his is up. Mine's up. He's got he's got the full front door. I've got the mozzy one. So that's his setup. And there's uh, plenty of room in them. Got his gear sorted out. Done. We're sharing a cradle in between us. Take it across to mine now. This is mine. I've got the mozzie mate. In mine, I've got me fox 
bed chair and that in here. My seating, room under thing, pillars. This is my swim. Happy with these. I've got quite a few rods and this year, more than out, I've been fishing with these because I've had them longest and even though I've bought some brand new ones, I just get stuck in my ways and these are <laughs> these are old, but I don't know, when I've had a few fish on some, I like them. These are, these are some at first, and it's just Sonic SK3s, XTRs, 12 foot, 203 and a quarter pound, that was three pound test curve. I've got caught spirit alarms, I like them, even though I've got some other alarms I've been using them. Fox Swingers and these are Sonic Dominator RS reels. I'm quite happy with them. They're set up. Today we bought gone at distance, winter time. It's cold, so I've gone as far as I'm allowed to go in this peg. So I'm about 14 maybe 15 at most wraps out see no fish showing at all it's not been fishing great it can do if you're on them if you drop if you drop onto them if you can find where they are and drop on them in winter you can, you can have a you can have a birthday but overall it's not easy you can hear that wind see how choppy is that water just take my word for it it's cold very cold and it's gonna get gonna get worse so anyway this is a setup where we're at Calm yesterday, get everything back in and we're on. No comfy cabin today. Proper bivy in it. Get back to. Oh, it's uh, eight past eleven, quite twelve. Wind got up. Predicted it. Predicted rain coming in all day today. Bad weather. Tomorrow's going to be better. So. Uh, We've got his bivvies, he's gonna go in his Jason. I'm in mine, both got the same bivvies. First time we're using them today. Nash. I'd excel. Uh, I'll tell you what, up to now I'm cold. It's not even neat time, so I'm, I'm dreading that. I'm under just the first thin layer, which is my waterproof layer. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sleep in bed. Just in case Rod's go. Just laying on top of it. It's cold. I've got I've got mesh on front, so obviously wind is blowing through that and blowing directly in, and uh, I'm freezing. Very cold. I get a cup of tea in a bit, but I'm gonna try and get an hour's sleep. Get a drink and have a sleep. So I'll keep you informed what's happening. Team Brook fishing. Team Brook fishing. I've had my cup of tea, warm me up a bit. Well, be honest, it's still cold. I've got, I've got two t-shirts on, hoodie jumper, this bubble coat on top, fur out, clips all the way around the side. It, it's cold out here. It's cold. But I was fishing last week and I, I caught the cold, and I've only just got over it. So, well, that's why I'm feeling it more. Because Jason says he's cold, but not. Don't seem to be as cold as what I am. I'm not normally Nash, but I'm feeling it. Uh, if you look back on one of my other winter videos, I've actually got a vest on and one of days went somewhere out and everybody thought I went up because they were cold an hour or eight, but today I'm absolutely freezing. Can't can't get warm. Uh, but I've got plenty of hot soups and stuff, so they all help. Keep you warm. Just had a nice cup of tea, that's why I'm up. So I'm not feeling too bad at the minute, but it is. It's just really cold out here and it's predicted bad weather again uh, it's gonna rain all today it says uh, black cloud but it hasn't started yet rain but winds here it said it were, were gale force winds and it's gonna rain we managed to get a bait boat out and then it died on us just fetched one bait boat today got all six rods out and then it died on us and luckily enough that coming to edge we got that back uh, but we're not gonna be able to take bait boat out so it's gonna be PVA bags, which I don't mind, but can't chuck as far as what I, I did with bay boat, so I'm gonna be sitting on these tonight. I'm not gonna be fetching them in. So hopefully. We got them, I'll put them on all spots I wanted them to be on. 
really, really happy what I've got on them. I've got three different rigs on them. Uh, and got baits I'm confident we. I've caught plenty of times in winter we. Uh, got a mixture of everything out here today. Maggots, worms, owls pellets, crushed boilies, uh, and giant PVA, massive bags like that. Because we took it, we took it out with both. So we weren't like that to cast so it was big and just had it all laid in all drops in one spot covers all covers everything up and it's enough to get them in one or two fish feeding and uh, all small baits keep them there little fish will come on it but that attracts big fish so hopefully i'm feeling confident for catching a fish to be honest i'm feeling quite confident with you but i think i'm gonna feel it tonight i'll let you know I'm a bit worried about it i've got me uh keckle and i'll have to I mean, stove might have to use that as an eater, which I've done in the past. See, see what happens with that. But uh, that's it up to now. It's already early though. I've not been here long. Already a few hours in it. Happens at half past nine. It's only just after twelve now, so I'm not expecting miracles yet. But I'm feeling confident. It's just very, very cold. As you can see. Very windy. Going up to two o'clock now. The dark at four. Went to neat. Two chopper to get a bait boat back. Two chopper to get a bait boat back. Quite a few on. I got any more water? I've got a bit more water, I'll just take the coffee with the darkest winds you need to Alright, I'm going to say I just boil as much as you can to kill all germs, innit? Then I've got a wipe. I'll get you another bottle, then. We've, we've forgot to clean the... Uh, you know what happens? Do you know what happens on my side? It's looking better. It weren't looking good, we'd left. We've forgot to clean it from last time. So I've just boiled it in. It's getting a bit better. Yeah, that wind. <laughs> the clear patch there. Right, little update. Uh, Jason's coming and sat in here with me because it's absolutely pissing it down. I should imagine you can hear it on the biffy. These, these biffies are good. It's blowing all over. It's going to be a really good test from these, but we know about these before we bought them. I've not had one of these. I've had Tracker Tempest in pass and, and they're good. This, anyway, we've got, we've got Nash Eyed XLs and they're bulletproof, but uh, they're going to need to be because wind's absolutely horrific it's bouncing it down uh, it's really choppy impossible to get bait boats out nobody can get the bait boats out we're just sat in here it's now eight past two uh, so see how we go on see what's lying on but it said this rain were coming and it's in all day all night and then tomorrow hopefully it's supposed to be good some sun out but feeling confident with my rods ready are you feeling confident yeah? definitely i think i think it's looking good for a for a fish to eat from now to now, it does it, doesn't it? Uh, on a knee, yeah. Uh, I've just made a couple of piece, Jay's done this, I've done, and then uh, I should have filmed it. Ridge Monkey got my Ridge Monkey out and to say it as it is, it makes me look bad, but I've not cleaned it last time. I'd had it out and uh, we opened it up, and it was it went absolutely disgusting. So, took it down here to tap thing, get it cleaning with it that then we boiled some red hot water cleaned it then I've got luckily I've got baby wipes cleaned it all down and I've got some hand sanitizer thing so we click it's like no again now anyway so we can get a sandwich or something to eat on that later on so we're gonna need hot food and drink because it, <laughs> it's cold but it's better than being stuck in house if you don't get out you don't do it and this helps for loads of things Definitely. I did a thing before about mental health I must be mental coming out and doing it but it helps me actually like getting out, I like having a laugh with me. You meet so many nice people. We've met about another four people today who we didn't know who's been out of the way talking to us, haven't they? We yeah. all, well, Jason up to the guy next to us, 
He just bought a what was it, Fox? Frontier Light. Frontier Light. He never put it up before, and uh, wind were blowing all, and he asked him if he could come and help him. I were, I were having a sleep in my bed, and Jason helped him out with that, and got a cold beer for helping him. And uh, the people pull up and talk to you all the time. It's it's a really nice place for socialising. This one, and this is where we're doing his winter venue. So we're going to keep coming back trying to get it. We might get one more in before Christmas. If we do, then that'll be Christmas special one. Because I think I think we've got something pipe land for that, but it's quite a few owners, and we're going to uh, get drunk on that and wear some funny party hats. That would I believe. The I mean, are I coming could, back I down. Good, how good would that be if it went? Double bleep. But it could be a wave because it's really crashing in, and wind could be setting that off. Oh, the swans are here. Don't need them going under it. Anyway, we'll let you know what happens. Baltic out there. Extreme winds. Still cold winds, rain. Nice and cosy. Good river. A bit muzzy in that one, so you can see that. Get straight on and run. And then rocks go. And I don't think you're gonna go. I'm feeling confident. Not like this bad, but that can stop fish. The unthinkable's happened. I was filming that rain and Nash Titan Hide XL, first time ever use it. Showing you this morning when we come, we were doing a review, putting them up. Uh, it just took off, took off. How high did it go, would you say? I don't know, high. Well, it went over your car. <laughs> Probably 15, 15 foot in air. Went toward here to where railings is. Brand spanking new, bus poles on them. I mean, it, it was severe wind what came then, it was unbelievable. But having said that, I had every peg in. I don't know how I did it, come out, just blocked them. This is what's left. Just, just stuck. No, I hope you sort that out. I've always said how good Nash is, I hope you sort that one out. You can write this, what's happened. It's four o'clock, we're filming that gale wind, I've seen how bad it were, and my Nash tight and I took off in there. They were all pegged down, they were all done. Got front infill on it all sorted out and it just completely winds got underneath it, threw it clean up in air, snapped two up main poles on it. That's me completely. What shit creek. Uh, Jason's staying on, I'm having to now go home. I've not got nowhere to sleep and it's uh, still bouncing down and done. I've had to just throw everything in the car as quick as I could. Uh, I'm gonna go home and see if I can find some other shelter for tomorrow. See if I can get back and gonna pick Jason up anyway and sort things out. Can't believe it's happened. Un un unbelievable, you couldn't write it. First time I ever used it. <laughs> Team Rook fishing update. Absolute chaos. Went fishing yesterday for two days, possibly three. Definitely doing two days. First day yesterday, getting there, uh, I think it was about three o'clock or something. Just before free rain set in and wind got in bad. Uh, I bought a brand new bivvy. I've had a, loads of bivvies in the past. I've never had any problem with any bivvies. Uh, and I got the Nash Eyed XL. Jason has also got the same one. We put them up together. Uh, we were near each other in swims. We had a double swim, but we were near each other. Put them up, put every peg in it, nailed it all down, got it all done, secure. Rain were coming, wind were coming bad, and it, it were moving all about. 
I even went back out, made sure all pegs were in good in, severe winds, and then next thing, disaster happened. The bivy just blew, I don't know, 10, 15 foot in air, straight up, just like some of a film, unbelievable, just open and I'm laid on me bed chair, in pissing down ring thing, I've got up, then my bed blew off and started tripling all in all mud and rain and absolute chaos and complete fuck up, pardon me French. Uh, I had to run and try and get bivy that had gone up fence and across other side of bleeding path. Uh, luckily there's a lot of good people on here, a few people come out helping me, uh, which I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help. Uh, so thanks to that. Gathered stuff together, threw it in back at court best I could, uh, and then had to decide what to do. So I was completely drenched from head to foot, obviously being cut out and it like that. I didn't have a change of clothes, I didn't have home, I was soaked to bone, everything, and I had nowhere to sleep, even though I could have tried to get in car, because I threw everything in car in in just a fashion of throwing it in, I'd not, not where you pack it. So it was slung in, there was no way really to sleep. I could have sat in the front seat, but not, I don't want to spend night, especially as soaked as I were. I'm not a spring chicken anymore, and uh, I had two options to come back home, so last night I drove home, left Jason down there. He's still down there. He's had a fishing night. That were hectic with weather. He's uh, got a bit of footage of it in a photo. Not best photo, because he's had to take it on his own with wind blowing and trying to put camera on a tripod to take a picture and everything, but He's caught, so I'm grateful he's caught, he's down here. So uh, I'm supposed to be back down today, but I can't. The, the other bit I had before, my me, me old one, I've just I've just let my pal have that one uh, because I bought this new one and now I'm, I'm bivvyless. So hopefully Nash will sort that out because that shouldn't happen like that. It's just one of them things. So I'm going to see what Nash does. Hopefully they'll replace it. I'm hoping so. First time I'd ever used it. But regards to fishing side of it, I'm either going back down later today if I can so some of art to sleep in. If not then I'll be going down tomorrow to pick Jason up on his return. So I'll let you know what happens. Morning, morning, morning. Team Brook fishing. Uh Saturday morning, I'm on my way to pick Jason up. Uh I've missed out because of a disaster what happened with me baby, but I'm on my way down now to pick him up. I know he's had one fish, I don't know if he's had one last night. He might have done. I've not rung him, so I thought I'm have a sleep. Uh, I'm on my way down there to pick him. Get him up to Sheffield to Nottingham. Decent runs, not too bad. But, uh, hopefully, I might have had another one. I won't let you know. Set it up as I'm Seabrook fishing. Let's have it. Some pegs we've been on, it's just not not been that productive. Good set of lads come on here. I'm gutted I didn't get to fish it. <laughs> that's, that's fishing for you. Wizards of Oz. My children are asleep, we'll be a bit quiet. We'll be a bit quiet. That's where wind came, straight down there. That's what Peg are in here, just took, took it clean off in here. I'm piling down here, fucking off, up, gone. Unbelievable. Can't fucking believe it. How are we going? Are we asleep, wake? How are we going? Oh, right. How oh, happening, pal? Anything so? Yeah, mate. It's been a fucking huge show like last night. Yeah. But winter. Here, isn't it? Winter, isn't it? Uh, uh, we're, we're fishing for a bite, aren't we? Just thought we'd get some of it. Team Brook fishing, back again. Another episode. Through the bivvy hole. 
We're here today, Saturday morning. I'm Roy Brook, and we're with Mick. Mick Grant. Hi, Mick. Right, uh, start to this. First time you've used this, isn't it, Mick? First time, yeah, so it on Thursday. Thursday, uh, so I'm gonna have a nose of this, and it's the it's the it's the Fox V. Oh, I've got their I've got their sleeping bag in bed. The Fox Ventec Frontier, and it looks a strong piece of kit to be honest. It's uh, looks nice and sturdy. You get stone poles. Does everything come with that, or do you have to buy things separate? All comes with it. Yeah, just have to. This is an option extra. The school cap. Yeah, but it's worth having on. It's a nice thick yeah. one, isn't it? Warmth and condensation. Yeah. It looks nice and comfy. Can I ship price if you don't mind asking? What is it um, altogether? I paid four four hundred and seventy for the bivy, and I think it was eighty pound for the. And uh, it's a thick one. That that looks a bit cap. thicker than some of us have seen. To be honest, it's a, it's a thick material. That that's thicker than normal skull caps on on other ones. So it's a good, nice, thick material, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think at room size then? What was yeah. that set up? Lovely. Well, you've got that in mid -length. You've not pushed it in. You've got no. You've got luggage at the back here. It's nice and square at the back. Two big windows. I didn't realise. But I prefer to have my bed chair at the front so I can put my gear. <laughs> yeah, at yeah, the back. yeah. And well, then I've got enough room ways. at the front for my baby table, my cooking. Yeah. And it's just absolutely perfect. What bed chair are we on today? What, what uh, I'm on a uh, Terrian X Light. Oh yeah, Terry. Yeah, they're brilliant. Then. <laughs> Nice and yeah. light and low. They are nice and they're strong and all. And I've just purchased the new Fox R1 sleeping bag, which yeah. is absolutely lovely. It's How so, have you gone on? Because it's been cold, hasn't it? It's so warm, this this uh, um, sleeping bag. I'm really, really impressed. You're really rated then? Yeah, lovely. It's the R1, it's the smallest one. They do three in the range. Yeah. The R1, the R2, the R3. And this is, this is the small small I, one. I've got a Fox up near me, this, that. that. Same one that Summit Tech from T86. It's the winter one. The Ventec, yeah. Yeah, five season thing. Then I've even got the, the full waterproof thermal what goes on top where you can sleep outside in. Yeah. Apparently, I won't want to do that, but on on a not a bad night you can do that. Yeah. So so that's kept me warm then. It's been absolutely bob on. So yeah. anybody because everybody looks at sleeping bags. Anybody selling? Why I do this is people selling tackle shops when they sell it or people what's uh, promoting that I'm not promoting all that's why I do all different ones we're not promoting all we're just proper lads on bank side normal fishermen yeah. asking normal fishermen yeah. so we've no reason to lie so that's why I asked you now yeah. some people might say it's shit this so, so I've had people that's had their own stuff and say I'm not getting rid of this but that's good so what you're saying on that one yeah. and within winter that's kept you warm yeah, and that's good it's got the real the yeah you can see it that fleet. Thick, yeah yeah thick heavy fleece and it's got a nice soft bottom as well. Yeah, yeah. Really so, warm. So, so that, so that's a good advice for anybody looking for a nice winter one. It is, yeah. Yeah. And I don't think they're too expensive, are they? You know. Uh, I think this was hundred and ten pounds. Yeah, but it's worth but your some money this time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's worth going to last penny. me a long time. Yeah. And same with the bivy, you know. Yeah, yeah. As long as you keep them clear. That does everything. Same as others. Letterbox. Yeah. You can alter this. Does yeah. it have a muzzle net in it? Is that built um, in? Yeah, that comes with yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and you can up. Like zip it, yeah, yeah, it's, have it full, zip it down, full sort of screen, take the full front out, and just have it sort of basically like. Are, are you enjoying your winter session? Uh, yeah, it, I, all right, yeah, I came two weeks ago, and uh, for the first time in two years, was due to ill health, yeah, and uh, I fished peg 27, and I got my first fish out a 31 pound, oh, mate, amazing, mirror. brilliant, yeah, and fingers crossed, I'm here for another few days, so I'm hoping. I'll get married. Yeah, yeah, this time in it. Another hopefully, one. Hopefully it'll come. But it's never easy in winter, is it? We're always not. fishing just for the bike. No, and it's very busy. Uh, it's hard, hardcore people that come out in winter. I've got no bit of respect for cartmen what do winters. A lot of lads do summer, got all gear up things. As soon as it turns cold, you'll never see them on the bank yeah, side again. Pack the gear away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, I'll, I'll, I'll fish any time in the, any time in the year, you know. And yeah. I, I do, on, on your old thing, I know it's a different thing. Me, I... I I'm one of the lads that suffers with mental health. Not many people talk about it, but I do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've been stressed out for whatever reason in the past and suffered with depression. And I find fishing helps me. How do you find fishing in yourself yeah, for your health? Exactly it... the same, Roy, because I've been suffering with depression. All oh, right, well, I didn't know that. that yeah. That's what I'm saying. I didn't... Yeah, I've, the last two years. I've so been... many men do, don't we? We don't yeah. talk about it, do we? I've been not very well in, in and out of hospital. Um, I'm still due to go back in for yeah, yeah. further. Things, but yeah, just coming out on the bank, getting out, yeah, no yeah. matter what weather it is, I'm happy just to sit out. It's not just about one of the fishing. things I like on here and all because I, I fished all up playing big fishing years. One of the things I can honestly say about Trent View, what I love, is 
everybody gets pals. I've never, yeah. I've never met a knobhead on here yet. No. Do you know what I mean? Sorry for saying as it is. No. You can hear them on some lakes. It's yeah. a very social place, and yeah. we come from everywhere. Like I'm Sheffield, they come from Derby, they come from all Nottingham, they come yeah. Chesterfield. Yeah. They all, all walks of life coming here. But what is good? Yeah. They seem to be a certain type of breed. It is, yeah. They're older fishermen, like yeah. the souls. Yeah. You all get younger ones on, but the majority of them are older blokes, yeah. and they've got no bit respect to know each other. A bit like more understanding you were on each with me. Yeah. My baby took off in air first time I ever used it. Yeah. <laughs> my nash tight and hide, and. I had a lot of lads come and help me because it went rain gone and, and it went all the way to the fence yeah. and it was pissing down weather and that, that's brilliant, do you know what I mean? It, when people can come and do yeah. stuff like that and help you and then Jason, he's got drenched, one of the lads has lent him some clothes yeah. and said fetch him back next time. Yeah. It, it, it's above and beyond yeah, isn't it what people do. Yeah, like I say, when I, when I came on Thursday and tried to set this up, obviously it's brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very stiff. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't open yeah, fan yeah. it out. So and when you know when you pay a lot of money, you don't want to do something wrong. No. Get something wrong. I can remember uh, you track a tempest, and I remember a bloke who bought one on Dan Flash where I live near Sheffield. He bought one, didn't know, and he tried pulling barrow yeah. before he'd fanned it properly. Yeah. And he snapped yeah. by, threw it to the floor, took Narky, went, You can, can have it. Yeah. That's me, done the paid money, I did have it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I went back, and luckily, because he'd already broke bar, I went to bought part, what it was, what it cost me, what it cost me 50 quid. I got a brand new bivvy. Yeah. Now, that, he, he just threw it to the floor, took Narky packed your stuff in and we're stressed out now like, i can get it because i was stressed over there with but it's no good being like we have to laugh it off things happen in fishing norway That's it, yeah. and when the new bivvies they're stiff like you say yeah, yeah. and yeah. i'm saying some of these new bivvies you don't know how to put up they're all slightly different no. a lot of that brolly system kind of put up but they're all slightly different yeah. so if you don't get it right you can yeah. damage them until you know what you're doing That's it. once you've done it once or twice it gets easier so i think jason come on again jason came yeah and, and helped us because like i say i think it's a bit of advice for uh, people who do buy a new bivvy that obviously when they come from the factory yeah, and yeah. they're packed they are very stiff yeah definitely and mick next door he mentioned that um after a time they do start yeah, to, to get easier you know, a, a little um, bit. and more more you realize how to put it up and put down yeah that helps and all doesn't it knowing so, what what you can do right. makes it easier so i yeah. think if if anybody is going to buy one of these when they do first come on the bank and use it to probably have somebody with them yeah yeah just to give them that little yeah. bit of an answer sometimes my advice and all is maybe try your own first yeah if you've got garden give it a dummy run at home yeah have a dummy run if you can get it up and see because I, I, on some of the bivvies i've had in past especially big ones when i've been to france yeah i've i've tried them at home i thought can i do this on my own do you know what yeah, i mean when i've had yeah. a i've had i've had a two manner big and what i wanted for france for plenty of space yeah and i learned how to do it on my own it was easy with somebody but i wanted to be able to practice, do it on yeah. my own do you know what i mean so yeah. anyway we sorted it all yeah, good. But I'll tell you what, I've really enjoyed talking. Yeah. Team Brook Fishing. Good to see you again. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be catching, pal. And, uh, I hope you get sorted with your bivvy. Yeah, I hope so. I hope, na I hope Nash uh, sort me out with All right, right, see you later, pal. Yeah, Thank you very on. much. Now then, now then. Last oh. bit of grub. Saturday morning. Come and pick Jason up. And uh, we pulled straight into McDonald's. Because it's absolutely freezing. And we're starving. I can't believe it, McDonald's. Are you ready for it, Jay? Yeah, definitely. So, it's been uh, difficult. Obviously, I only got a few hours on banks. So I had my tragedy, what happened with me, Bibby. That's fishing. I said, when I make these, whatever happens, I'll put on video, and that's what happened. Jason stayed. Obviously, he's had two days out. He's had one fish in middle of the night. We're pissing it down, windy. Got a little bit of footage on it and a little photo of it. So that'll be put on. I didn't weigh it. Uh, but it looked all right, nice common. So at least he's caught Team Brook fishing. Came and conquered, had some it. Uh, but it's not been easy. There's a great group of lads on there. They're all all nice people and it's it's a good place to go for winter carping it's got a big stock of carp on but it's it's they're not easy matter in winter no winter fishing's easy there's, there's two type of carp men my opinion this 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 carp men won't go out in summer when everything's perfect everything's great it's all beautiful and they'll gun fish and they'll self caught this and caught that when it's at it's best and then you get your hardcore carp men what'll go out and fish it all year round and they'll <coughs> fish winter and uh, I think, well, me personally, I average sort of 
one catch out of three trips for me when I try and work it out. Uh, so it's not easy. We never said it were easy. It's uh, cold fishing, not catching like we said before. But luckily, that was good enough. Jason's had one, so it weren't uneventful. Not massive, but it was here coming. Uh, I'd have liked to thought I might have caught it for here. I don't know. It didn't happen, so I'll never know. But next one, what we get up on, will be uh, the Christmas special, special. we're trying to organise. Uh, a lot of mince pies and drinking and lad social, so I don't know how much fishing will get done on that one. <laughs> but usually at cases when you're not as bothered or fishing, that's usually when you catch them, we'll probably all be pissed up and having a right laugh and we'll end up catching, you know what I mean? When you go, you want to catch and you're, you're fully on game for it. It, it, it don't work. They come when you're not ready for them, that's fishing. But uh, I hope you enjoy watching these videos. Like I said, people ask me to carry on doing them. Before I was just doing them for my son. I thought lads all went now people start watching them so if you do like it give us a thumbs up a like and and subscribe, and subscribe please and uh, there's going to be many more obviously not with too much action in winter but we'll show you what's happening as it happens but in summer we get all over travel we'll be doing france we'll go all over place different lakes and there'll be plenty to see so uh thanks for watching till next time till next time